welcome to Anthony's TV. My name is Jack Tutsbury. His name is... Morty's Falcon. And his name is... Oz. And this is the Numa X Piano GT. It's a mouthful. It's from Studio Logic. Simon kindly handed it off to me. I'm going to uh, be guided by the Falcon and Oz, and we're going to have a quick play through it. It's just been dropped off. Forgive me. Let's go. OK, first sound out of the gate. Can I have a key, please, Falcon? F major. Thanks, mate. Falcon, it feels rather nice. That's the whole point of the GT. A little bit of a backstory. Thanks again, Simon, for dropping it off. By the way, this is ad hoc surroundings. The Falcon's back on the team. Tay Tay's run off to greener pastures. But we've got, uh, so forgive me, I'm sat on this sofa. I know we're going to work on the table, but we're going to be filming videos up at my studio in the future. Back to the point. You're watching this video about Studio Logic, Piano, GT, Numa. It's been around for a while. I loved the Numa organ before, but the whole point of this is Studio Logic is Fatar or Fatar. Let me know if you can express. What do you think, Fatar or Fatar? I think Fatar. Fatar. So we're going to say Fatar because he's a little bit foreign, and <laughs> <laughs> and these are from Italy. And uh, Studio Logic is the brand. Of Fatar, it's like the brand face of it. So you've got, they make the action that everyone else buys. And this is their keyboard. And I was really like, mm, I'm not sure, Simon brought it around. I got it out and I love the form factor. We'll get some awesome sweeps, I'm sure. It's got some, it's reminiscent of some other keyboards, but also very much its own thing. It's got some unique stuff. You heard that piano at the beginning. The reason why I was Getting into it is this is a solid wooden keyboard action, all solid wood. There's three versions. This 88 key with a solid wood, solid wood. Then we've got an 88 key with a plastic keyboard, and then we've got a 73. And I know all the salesmen, oh, plastic, but that's what it's made out of. They feel great. <laughs> Some of the best keyboards out there. But if you're a very discerning person, I'm going to try communicate to you what I feel in the action. Uh, can I just have one more key, please, Christopher? Thank you, mate. Right, that fiddly stuff is easier with a posher action. I'm not a massive action guy, but I'm trying to communicate this to you because some people are very fussy about it. I'm not a classical dude, but it feels great to me. And again, check out the pedigree of Fatah and the quality. So the action's killer. I love how slim it is. Let's talk about the sound. It's using some innovative modeling technology. So we've got the beginning of the sample. Apparently, we've got a little sample. So beginning of the sound, a little sample. Then modeling after it, a bit like piano tech and those things. But we've got bucket loads of other sounds. Headline things are we've got four zones here. So these could be four internal sounds, different volumes, and spread over different parts of the keyboard. In keeping with its controller heritage, these can all be external zones as well. So you could just be controlling four bits of external kit. And I'm going to get to the coolest thing I think about this keyboard. 
which is a bit maverick, it's got four analog inputs in there. So it's got a built-in four-channel mixer. With master effects, delay and reverb, if I go to that section now, I just hit this, bosh, audio inputs. Uh, very nice, and even I've figured it out very quickly, this interface. If I, for example, wanted to adjust something on zone one, I just hold that, it zooms in. I've got an EQ on each channel, but I also have a master delay and reverb. If I go to the next one, you can see that it changes color. So this color system, it seems like a better implemented version of what was on the Roland RD2000. So I'm down for that. I'm already in, I'm interested. Let's listen to more of the sounds because it's boring listening to me talk. That was the Model D. Let's go for a different one. Let's go for, let's just go for the next one. Come on, let's be crazy. So that was 1968, I'll do the same thing. This is the next one. Japanese grand, brighter, you can feel it. It just makes me want to play Lane Disney. <laughs> right, uh, Mark I. Oh, nice. So this is going to be a modelled electric piano. I'm going to do some stuff like this. Just was testing this out, we've got a wiggle stick, which can be plus, minus, left or right. It's very handy if you had, I'm sure this is assignable, if you had main stage, you could probably get around your window in that, and a left to right. This is more of the modulation. Never seen anything like that before, but it's neat and it works. It sounded pretty lush to me. What do you think, Falks? That sounds pretty lush. Oh, can I get a key from you, mate? A minor. Thank you, mate. Yeah, some of the sounds respond to that and not some are pretty authentic. A bit like some other keyboards, uh, some red ones that do that. So I dig that. Let's do a hard tine. I'm just going to flick through a few more. Wiener. Oh, I like that one. Oh yeah, Alicia. So we're showing off the different zones now. So we've got legit pianos, different flavor on it. I can feel that flavor of it being modeled. Uh, there's a clarity to it that I like. Uh, tell me what you think. So we've got these different zones now, so uh, rock keys, there's a... Here in the effects, uh, weather.
really lush effects. Bit of whirl, it's a... Nice. Whirly tram, same thing. Do it again. Korean mix. What key do we play Korean mix in? E flat. E flat, yeah, I think so. Oh, it's got a fretless on the bottom. Interesting. Okay, are we gonna do, I'm not gonna go through exhaustively, I'm gonna give the guys, the young whippersnappers, a choice of three patches, and that'll be it. You get, Diod Groove, Diod Groove, Sunra, or Inner Smood. Inner Smood it is, and a key. G major. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's do it. It's quite surprisingly, I don't know why I'm surprised, but I think I really like it. <laughs> I like the fact that I like these buttons, the orchestra, string. So we're into a menu, the screen's really clear. Strings are... Ah, I see what I'm doing there. So wherever I am, I can just hit this, I'm back to the top menu, but I've got all these zones on. So if uh, I can just... I see, I can adjust the, the volumes. Let's just go back to a single patch. And if I hit orchestra, then this should be, yeah. Hit orchestra again, let's have a listen to some cinema. Other, I always love a bit of other cassette. Oh, Casoto, sorry, God, maybe my eyes are going. I thought I said cassette. Musette, harmonium, koala. Again, are my eyes deceiving me? Is this a koala bear? No, because the captain wants to hear a koala bear. It's right, I'm just demoing the sound of a koala bear. On, a, on camera? On camera, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry for interrupting your video, bye. <laughs> captain approved koala. But that kind of sums up 
I'm interested by that four channel mixer. We got all the USB ins and outs. This has got a smart little accessory ridge at the back that we can get a uh, little a plinth that you can put your laptop on. Uh, I probably would have liked to have seen a IEC connector, but I suppose that keeps the size down. Three pedal option. Uh, so if you're re again, this is the one with the posh action. This is for the guys that want three pedals. That's about it from the Numa Piano GTX. We even heard a Koala. Let's do it. I'm going to find an another patch and play us out with a silly name.